Hello, I'm very happy to be here today to talk to you about York University uh, Markham Campus's program in creative technologies. And what I'm going to do is just a brief program overview. I'm going to skim through things very quickly. So I'd be really happy uh, if folks want to contact us and ask us any questions um, so that we can give you more detail on anything you see today. So Creative Technologies is our art and technology program, and it's at the brand new Markham campus of York University. I'm sure you've heard a lot about our campus. Uh, York University has three campuses and Markham is to the northwest of the city of Toronto there on the map. Uh, and our Creative Technologies program, it focuses on helping you build and run your own creative entrepreneurships, collectives and projects. And it's a little bit different to other fine arts degrees in that it helps you learn project management, knowledge and familiarity with a wide range of emerging technologies, plus creative methods and current industry know-how. So the big question that drives us in creative technologies is how can we use art and emerging technologies to reshape industry, community and the future? And that image there is actually from a 3D modeled work by one of our professors, uh, Professor Hector Centeno Garcia from his space series. You'll see a few of his works uh, today. So what on earth is this creative technologies thing? Well, it's a collective term and we use it to describe people who work with digital creative creativity across different art areas. So rather than staying just inside visual art or music or media, uh, we look at how creativity works across different forms uh, and also including things like how do we develop new tools for creativity or how do we use creative tools uh, to do applied work like data visualization. So this image you can see here is actually one of my PhD students and her collaborator. It's a piece called All the Stars We Cannot See, and it's visualizing all the satellites that are up above us in a way that we can engage with down here on the planet. Uh, so all those satellites that are being launched above us, uh, imagining the tracks of them and being able to interact with them in a human scale. So creative technologists use emerging technologies, or they sometimes adapt tech in really wonderful ways. So use things in different ways than they might have been designed for. Creative technologists become usually entrepreneurs and project leaders. So rather than being the, the person who's doing the work for a manager, creative technologies are running the team. And creative technologists like to mix the arts with other fields, computer science, engineering, health, uh, education, social work. So we take those creative skills and apply them outside the fine arts. So why would you wanna be a creative technologist? Well, employers keep telling us that creativity is a vital skill uh, that, that they're looking for in, in any employee. And we think it's actually a vital skill that the world needs right now. We also keep hearing that technology is changing so fast, um, but we think that you can direct the change you want in the world if you understand the technologies that are emerging. We also think that working collaboratively and across fields brings a different kind of innovation and social change. So it's not for everyone, but if you can gain these collaboration skills, uh, then you can make different things possible. And we are inspired by some of the creative technologists in the world who we think are leading the way. And this is a prototype you can see on the left from a partner of our program in Australia uh, that has been working with us to develop an urban planning game so that a whole bunch of people together can imagine what a city could look like uh, through a large scale interactive um, tool. So this is an example of kind of an educational uh, tool that could come out of creative technologies. So I'd like to introduce you to just a few of our professors. Uh, Professor Hector Centeno Garcia and his program specialties are audiovisual and interactive software and creative coding. Uh, he works in virtual reality, augmented reality, immersive experience design. Uh, he does a lot of work in virtual production and he's also an expert in sound and audio. This is a piece uh, from a VR work that he created called Space in 2023. And you can see more of his work at his website if you're interested. And we can send these links out to you if you contact us and you can learn more about what our profs are up to. So my program specialties are around project management, working with community and industry, researching digital cultures, and I'm really interested in sound performance and immersive media. This is a picture of me uh, down at University of Michigan teaching a bunch of dancers how to engage with 360 degree cameras. And there's a couple more of my projects on the left working in China, 
in Wuhan, uh, helping people to collaboratively hold on to their memories using digital arts. And on the right hand side, working in hospitals in Saskatchewan using iPads with folks in rehabilitation settings. Professor Marissa Lago, her expertise is around creative methods, curating art and technology. She's really interested in critical concepts that are driving uh, the industry, ethics, decolonization, disruption, futurism. Uh, her, she works in design thinking and with visual cultures and tools. And she's also an expert in Asian and indigenous art and culture. And this is a picture I kind of love from a piece she did back in 2012, where she had young people catching projections on these big parachutes uh, as the um, Google Earth was projected. And they were engaging with kind of some of the places where their uh, ancestors came from by this interactive play uh, with digital projection. Professor Michael Darrow and his program specialties are researching cities and urban cultures, media history and theory, and mapping and ecology. And I kind of love this picture. It's a, it's a picture where he's trying to work on an exhibition to hold on to the histories of media, all the different ways in which media is made. Uh, this is a piece called Edgy Media, and it's about the very famous Canadian theorist Marshall McLuhan. So another big question that drives our program is how can creative technology help us deal with a world that is changing so fast? So why is this degree different to other fine arts degrees? Well, we're pretty excited about our brand new Markham campus. It's small, it's got world-class facilities and a really interesting um, uh, place in the uh, urban culture of Markham, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, it focuses on leadership and collaboration skill sets, not on specialist uh, solo art skills. So you won't be learning one skill all the way through the program. You'll be learning a taste of skills and how to collaborate and build teams um, and lead those teams. It places emerging tech into your hands. So we'll be constantly uh, purchasing new technologies and allowing you to play with them. We're gonna work across industries, as I mentioned, not just fine arts contexts. And also it's a program which is based on flexibility. So you do not need to choose your path at the start. So we'll give you a range of options. And as you go on, you'll narrow in on the areas that most interest you in this broad field of creative technologies. And Markham campus, as I mentioned, is a pretty exciting location. It's in the heart of one of the most dynamic urban communities in the province and the country. The whole campus is uh, really working on technology, entrepreneurship and innovation. And we're very excited about the potential to collaborate across the different programs and degrees. So you'll be meeting students from other areas through some of our joint classes. And some of the amazing companies that make their home in Markham that we will be connecting and partnering with. I'm sure you recognize a few of these names. So when are you going to study in a creative technologies program? Well, in the first year, we'll get you to try and evaluate different creative methods. Uh, you'll learn about coding and technology use in the field of creative technologies. Those fundamental project management skills that we think are so important. You'll meet those students from the other programs in digital literacies and general competency classes. You'll be able to take other art and media courses from across our award-winning faculty. So we are situated in a faculty of art, media, performance, and design. And you'll be able to take electives from across our whole faculty, not just the ones on offer in Markham. And then you'll start narrowing in on that pathway that you want to go down uh, in industry, community, or research. In your second year, you're gonna dig into histories of, of ethics and contemporary issues, gain more project and business skills and experiential learning out in industry and community. You're gonna choose from those electives that get your hands on that emerging technology and those emerging concepts, which are driving the field. In your third year, you'll work on a digital project from beginning to end, and you'll learn to be what we are calling a positive disruptor so that you can shape the future rather than just be a passive consumer of it and then you'll continue to focus on those electives in the area that you're interested in. And in your fourth year, you will do both a solo and a collaborative project um, and also produce a portfolio so that you can graduate into a career in industry. So what we mean by industry is entrepreneurship, starting your own business or community, working with the public in public engagement or research. So maybe becoming a tech researcher or working or going on to further graduate work. And they'll be able to work locally in the York region or take advantage of our provincial, national and global partners. 
So I think probably I should give you just a little sense of what a potential creative technologist career might look like. So for example, if it's industry you're most interested in, you might graduate by and start your own VR business, right? A startup for the profit for, for, for the for-profit sector. Or you might start your own augmented reality company to create educational games and interactive experiences for the non-profit health sector, so health, education, etc. You might work for the creative industries, a gallery, a museum, or a festival that wants a new technology project and needs someone to manage it. Or you might start your own digital art collective focusing on brand new kinds of art that we haven't even imagined yet. And of course, a lot of creative technologists find careers outside the arts. So new industries, for instance, like streaming companies are starting to look for people who have a sophisticated understanding of both creativity and technology. So there's new careers opening all the time. If you're more interested in working with the public, uh, then you could engage with the community or the public sphere. You might create your own social justice focused art and technology project. You might build outreach and education programs, again, for galleries, museums, um, and those ones that use creative technologies. Or you might attract your own commissions for big public art projects using new technologies. And we're seeing those commissions happening in business, in government, you know, so people who are building these big interactive displays uh, for all sorts of uh, different um, employers. Or if you're really interested in research, you might become a creative technologies researcher. And I'm sure you might recognize this guy on the right hand side, Marcus Brownlee, who is a tech journalist who has a huge following on YouTube. Uh, these are the kinds of folks that might graduate from a creative technologies degree and, degree and go on to be a tech journalist or a content producer, a reviewer. Uh, you might be a technological researcher for industry or the government focusing on creative technologies. Or you might gain the experience to move on to a graduate degree, like a MFA or a PhD in an artistic area and become an artistic researcher or maybe a university professor. So that's a kind of quick swing, swing through our program. It's very fast. So I do hope you'll ask us questions if you have them. A little last note from the professors in the program. If you are trying to choose between whether you take a degree that's creative or whether you take a degree that's technical, maybe a little nerdy. And if you have a sort of secret love of actually making a difference in the world, then we think you belong with us. Thank you very much.